I've got 15 minutes until I leave to meet Michelle. We're meeting at 11 today, and I'm looking at the parts that came yesterday. This isn't all of them, but um, this bag has the windows for this. I, I think I was able to order enough from one spot. And this bag has um, the little pieces that go in the corner as well as some of the hinge pieces that I need. So I think I can move on with this pretty good. I, I probably still don't have these. They were ordered yesterday. And I don't think I had previously ordered any, but um, at any point. And there were a few more sand green pieces that came. You know, every time I've ordered, I've added on if they had some. I, I think I'm going to have enough for the haunted house without having to order more. So there's my three pair of reflective um, triangular pieces. I'm gonna install them. I should have enough time to do that. All right, the floor is solid over here now and I've got the hinge parts to come in and replace these wrong colored bricks and uh, maybe I'll do that later. I gotta go meet Michelle now. I'm ready to shop. The sun's coming out and I think the storm risk and the hail risk, oops, <laughs> don't mean to still have the windshield wipers on. Um, I think it's gone, but everything is still sopping wet and uh, you know, with Dawn working, I just don't want to um, get Ruby dirty and then him to have to spend time that he doesn't have getting her clean. And all I do is drive up to Guardian Angel, park for three hours, and then, you know, drive home through South Park. So I really think I can live <laughs> without Ruby. Um, Dawn was running late this morning. I see he didn't get the paper that's because like I said we slept until the emergency alarm they drop dead this is the absolute latest you can sleep and still get on your morning conference call on time for dawn time um anyway I'm excited to meet Michelle she had to run up by Crabtree Valley Mall this morning for an appointment and uh, I want to hear her exploits out there on the road because we did have some pretty intense storms and this car looks um, stop stopped here with the flashers on. Let me concentrate and figure this out. I guess I got to go around them. Well, at least she had her flashers on, but she was just basically sitting at the stop sign doing some sort of paperwork. How about move down to the environmental park and park over there and do paperwork? I think that might be a better spot. Still got a half tank of gas, not used to having to worry about that. Obviously that's fine. I did remember to move Michelle's ottomans from the back of Ruby to the back of the van. I just passed the black Model 3. I waved from the van. I have several small bags of donations um, in the back of the van, so if they're taking donations today, I'll drive around to the back and drop that off. I think they are. That would be a good thing to get that stuff out of the back, because when I'm making turns, it's making noise. I don't know what's making noise back there, but something's making noise. <laughs> be nice to get, get rid of it. I saw the bags when I put the ottomans in. That's what we typically do. Got something to donate, go put it in the van got enough things to make it worth driving up there drive up there and drop it off or if we need to use the van for something else drive up there and drop it off something like that there I'll leave my spot free today for someone else and put the van over here that'll make Michelle happy we gotta transfer stuff she should be here any minute I know she's on her way I don't see her van yet though I guess I could go around back and see if they're accepting donations and get that out of the way. Donations dropped off, yay! No more noise. Chore handled. Just looking at the progress back here on this development going in, looks like not a ton of progress. You know, they'll be doing roads and water and sewer and all that good stuff before they get started building houses infrastructure first 
Yeah, here's a view you don't see too often, the back side of the Guardian Angel Shopping Center, which is where you have to go to make a donation. They try to keep it one way, in at the other end, out at this end, especially on donation days. Big puddle, huge puddle. Are you not ever gonna get to drive your van again? <laughs> Sean has it today. Okay, <laughs> it's back from the shop though. Right, we just picked it up today. Okay. Yeah, more stuff was going on, so. <laughs> time to trade, time to trade. I know, I know. Giving Michelle the jewelry I got for her at Apex, and she says this stone is Andalusite, mm -hmm. and she recognized it from the pictures I took and stuff. You're wearing a pink. Yes, this is the uh, Disney Enchanted collection. Michelle won't usually wear pink. No. Nope. Pink is me. This is a Maleficent piece. Okay. See it's the pretty. thorns? I like it. It's pretty. Yay. First thing we see in the store. <laughs> that is so cute. I got this bucket of Legos, but it's mostly, mostly Duplos. But here's a bag of Legos, and it's got a friend set in there, and that looks like I should get that. Well, that's really reasonable. Um, they're all Lego parts, too, but um, wrong shape bricks, not enough special bricks. There are some slopes in there, though. If only I could justify another Vera Bradley purse. <laughs> Have the wedding dresses marked down. They're all $50. That is a bargain. And there's some really nice ones, really nice. I mean, if I were getting married and I needed a dress was having that kind of a wedding, I would absolutely be trying to buy it from here, even at the regular price. They're all so pretty. Still Harry Potter at your house, right? It's not burnt out on yet? Nope. Okay. Even at the nieces. So it's $2. Maybe we can find a frame that it'll fit in. There's plenty to choose That's from. Oh, wow. Sure. <laughs> That's like the perfect size. Yeah. How much? $2. Wow, so for four dollars you're gonna get that nice Harry Potter print. Yes. Ariel would be pleased. Very I like nice. the gold leaf. Me too. Behind every successful person is a substantial amount of coffee, says Pete <laughs> the cat. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, these are better. It's yeah, better, uh, so pictures. Michelle is gonna take the triangle ones and I'm gonna take the heart ones. We are the bridge between what is and what could be. I could see Elon saying that. Yay! It's two sixty nine. We figure Ariel might like it. And Michelle and I went through all the records. We're looking for the Adams, Adams Family record LP. Like we gotta look a few minutes every time we come. Wow! They have some really nice lampshades today. This says hand painted by Pat is four dollars. It has a back on it that's a different pattern too. Oh my goodness, look at all of the bath mats to choose from today. Connor has been outfitted 25 cent a pair with a whole bunch of new socks, all different Nickelodeon or yep. Viacom, I guess it says. Can't beat it at 25 cents. You can wear a hole in it, who cares? Yeah. Okay, Michelle, it needs to say Queen of the Diamond. Yeah. Okay. We're finding lots of shirts today. Again, I love that one. Or some major and minor, the big dipper, the little dipper. Yeah, yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And pink. And then I found stuff. This one says grow through what you go through. And maybe Johnny star wars shirt and this one is so soft and the decal you can't even feel it it says join the dark side and then i'm in a minion mood this is so 2020 where it says remote learning and wi-fi we trust always wore pajamas never wore pants today's <laughs> you've seen everything at the thrift store it's a silk flower stem but it's cauliflower it's only three o'clock <laughs> bye girls see you bye. next week <laughs> Well, we are having a little afternoon thunderstorm here. I thought we were done. I thought it had cleared us, but I guess the heating of the day has inspired a little more rain. It's not a very large cell. Well, I got the donation out back there and something is still rattling and I cannot figure out what it is. I guess I'm gonna have to have Johnny or Don ride back there for a minute or me ride back there and want to Don drive or something because I've got to figure out what that noise is. Johnny, there's one of the new Broncos. 
It's actually raining pretty good and um, the geese must be finding what they need down there on the ball field here at South Park. I don't think I said, but this morning we had eight tenths of an inch, so it was a significant amount of rain overnight, which we really, really needed. Oh no. Okay, I'm back out to the cul-de-sac to um, check the mail, didn't have any yet. Turn the van around, make sure the Spectrum guys left. Um, we basically told them to come back Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we were having trouble coming to agreement on where things were going to go. We were having a little trouble communicating. And also, um, you know, Dawn wants to uh, do... We agreed on how it's going to actually come to the house. And Dawn's got some stuff to do. And he's in the middle of working. And they didn't call first. And they didn't send somebody to talk to us first and come up with the plan like they said they would. So anyway, it kinda, Don had been out here apparently for 45 minutes talking with them, walking the driveway. It wasn't that they weren't trying to sort things out, but anyway, it got, it was even more complicated than maybe we thought. So I bought these two cushions at Guardian Angel today. It's birds on one side and stripes on the other. I kinda like the birds. Um, I took the drill and drilled a little tiny hole on both sides. And I pushed the string through and I've tied them to the chair so they won't be falling off. I think the cats are going to like that. You know, these chairs are just basically cat chairs at this point. They're 15 or 20 years old and I've spruced them up a little bit. Hey, Slate. Hi. She seems a little scared after the storm. Hi. She's been more spooky than normal. Hi, girl. Hi, honey. Good girl. I don't know specifically what these are for, but um, the little one was a dollar and the big one was two dollar, and you never know when you need to try to sift something. Don got a pair of lightweight Adidas shorts. I picked up two nice waffle weave washcloths, 50 cent a piece, a nice towel for a couple bucks, and a trivet. Sometimes I use these to make sure my Pyrex doesn't get broken. After Christmas this last year, Walmart had these pot holder kind of trivets um, for 50 cent or a dollar and I picked them up and I've been using them for stacking so that the glass doesn't get chipped. Hey Nani! Hey pretty girl. It's only 6.30 on Friday. You finally called it quits? Yeah. Yeah, poor Donnie. You lost 45 minutes to the Spectrum guys showing up. Yeah. I guess, just to be clear, we talked them into coming back next week. Yeah, gives us the weekend to do something. Like right. Conduit, uh, but basically run a conduit, uh, 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 we're, so we're in good shape. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I don't think any of them were happy, including Don, that I showed up right at the tail end of that conversation. Well, actually, I think, yeah. Um, I would say that's we had kind of decided that basically they weren't going to do anything. And we just went rehashed it sort of again and absolutely decided we're not going to do Well, anything. I'm sorry, but you're dealing with the nearly 53-year-old me and not the 25-year-old me. And I've learned how to advocate for myself. And those guys are not going to hurt well, my tree especially roots. Especially when it comes to plants. Yeah, those guys, are, me to do stuff. those guys are not going to hurt my tree roots or we're going to have a battle. That's right. I mean, I'll be nice up until the point where I've got to advocate harder, That's right. but I'm going to advocate for myself. That's right. Yeah, I got bit. Don's down there putting his cool fingers on my foot. I got bit by a fire ant out there talking to those guys. Yeah, and so that put her in a good mood. Yeah, that, yeah, I've been sort of miserable the past couple hours. I did mostly put away my guardian angel things. I have one thing to fess up to Don about, so let me get off camera and do that. But he also he has a present. <laughs> Show him your box. Show him your yeah, box. Before I fess up about the one thing, yeah, you need to a, see the box. I have a fancy box. I don't even know what it is. Globenfeld. It's ma I'll give you a little clue. The box is magnetic. It's a very fancy box. See if you can figure oh, out how yeah. to open it. Oh, it's a watch. Oh, why isn't that fancy watch? It's cool. a sports watch. Yeah, 10 bucks. And uh, I looked on eBay anywhere between 60 and 260 depending on it. It's um, chroma, um, help me out here, chroma, chrom, anyway, chrono, it's a nice, chrono, it's, chronograph? Yes. Chronograph. Yeah. Yes.